Okay, so we can begin creating our function to fetch our data and then we can begin to populate this component. So the first thing that I want to do is on top of this, I want to import use state and use effect from react okay and then i'm going to set up my state value so i'm going to say const articles and set articles this is equal to use state and by default it's going to be an empty array because we're going to populate it when we fetch our data and then i want to set up a use effect with a callback function here and then an empty dependency array and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to say const fetch articles articles this is going to be equal to an asynchronous function like so so i'm going to say const res equals to await fetch and we're going to be fetching from the api which i actually haven't showcased so let's see so the api is the dev.to api where we're going to be fetching 10 articles so the articles api we're going to be fetching 10 of them per page okay so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to go back inside here place it inside backticks and then we're going to paste that in now the reason why i've placed it inside backticks is because we're going to be appending a bit more information on the end of this once we get into uh, filtering with tags and pagination okay but for now this is going to work as expected and then below this we're going to say const data equals to await res.json and then i'm just going to say set articles into the data that we get back and then remember to call your function so fetch articles like so and we should see nothing yet on the screen but we can see something by going below this i'm just saying articles dot length articles and we should see the number 10. we should see 10 articles right there fantastic now before we continue what i want to do is i want to create a loading state so if we don't have any data then i want to show a loading state and then once we fetch our data then i want the loading state to disappear so we can do that by going below this and just creating an is loading state value so is loading and set is loading set is loading this is equal to use state and by default it's going to be true okay so i want to go about this function and i want to say set is loading to true now it is true by default it is true by default but i'm just setting it to true here to make sure that it is actually true okay and then once we fetch our data from the articles once this function runs then i just want to say set is loading to false okay but i'm going to comment this out because i still want to style our loading animation and then what i'm going to do is now instead of returning this i'm going to cut it out and i'm going to place backticks and i'm going to say when is loading is true then i want to return a div here come on div with a class name of spinner and then inside this div we're going to have an article an article just like that an empty article and then when it is false so place a full column then you can return this now by default we should not see anything on the screen because none of this is populated okay so let's save this and we should see nothing okay if you want to test whether you, this is actually working you can just set this to loading dot 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 and you should see it loading okay so what i'm going to do is i want to style our loading spinner and let me place this to the right this to the left and i do realize that i've just confused my my direction but that's okay okay and then below this let's just tell our spinner so i'm going to say that for the dot spinner and i want to access the article inside i want this width to be forum i want the height to be forum and i want the border to be 0 0.2 rem and solid and i want it to be 0 f 172a that should be it yeah the, the it's a dark slate color okay so let's save this let's see what we have and we have this okay fantastic and then what i want to do is actually not i'm doing this wrongly <laughs> i'm doing this wrongly so i want this color to be a slight gray so let me just give it like hashtag 999 and then now i want the border on the top to be this color let's see so we should see oh sorry border top color border top color. and there we go fantastic now the reason why this is possible even though we already set the border color here is because of css specificity 
So the more to the bottom you are of the CSS file, the more specificity you have. And that's why this applies and this doesn't apply on the top border. Okay. And then let's have a border radius of 50% to make it rounded. And then now we just want to add a spinning animation. So I'm going to say animation spin. Okay, I want it to spin for one second for infinite or so forever. And then in a linear fashion, like so. And then we can go ahead and create our keyframes. So keyframes spin. And I want it to spin from transform. Rotate zero degrees. And I want it to spin to transform. Rotate. 360 degrees and we should see this on the screen okay fantastic now i just want to move this to the center so what i'm going to do is i'm going to access the spinner class and i'm just going to say display flex align it on center just so i connect to the center and then i'm going to set a min height of 100 people heights and it places it perfectly to the center fantastic okay now that our loading speeder is done, we can go ahead into our fetch articles component and then we can set, we can uncomment this, which is going to set is loading to false and we should see 10 articles on the screen. There we go. Fantastic. Now what I want to do is instead of only returning this, I want to get this out and then I want to return a fragment and then inside this fragment, then I want to map over my articles data. So I'm going to say articles.map. And then I wrote this down, I wrote these items down, but if you look into the API, we're only going to be, we're really just going to be getting these items, okay? And if you don't, let me just do it from here. So I want to get the ID, I want to get the title, I want to get the description, the readable published date, readable underscore publish underscore date. We want to get the URL. So that is going to be the URL to the article. We want to get the comments count. We're going to get the public reactions. Underscore count. We want to get the actually not. Uh, I want to get the published timestamp instead of the readable published date. It's so published timestamp. And then I want to remove this from here. Okay. And then once you get the published timestamp, I want to get the positive reactions count. So positive underscore reactions underscore counts and then i want to get the cover image because obviously that's going to be the cover image of the article if it does have one and then i want to get the what else what else they created that which is the date it was created that actually do not you know what created that is the same as the published date is it 2205-04015 2205-04015 yeah it's the same so we don't need this and then we can get the what was it uh, uh we can get the tag list we want to get the tag list oops so tag underscore list and then we want to get the user okay so once we get the user then that is going to be it uh we're going to be accessing these values from the user using dot notation so once we have that then let's set up our return where i'm going to be returning uh, let's return an article like so with the key of id and then inside this article we're going to have an image and the source for this image is going to be cover underscore image like so and the alt attribute in case the image fails to load i just want to show the title of the article okay and then let's see what we have on the screen okay now I should mention that I ran into an error while building this out for the first time and I do hope that I get it so that I can show you how to fix it. If I don't get it, then I'm just going to show you the fix for it. I'm going to explain the error and then I'm going to show you the fix for it. But notice this, notice how we get 10 articles, yes, but some articles do not have the cover image, okay? So what I, I don't want to happen is I don't want to see these items. I don't want to see these, right? So what you can do is you can grab all of this and place a conditional and say that well, only when cover image is true, that's when I want this to show. When it is not true, then nothing is going to show. Okay. So let's save this and you'll notice that all of those items are removed. Okay. So that's looking fantastic. Now, what I want to do next is I want to create a div inside here. And then this div is going to have an article. And then this article is going to have an image which is coming from the user dot 
what was it what is the profile image so we'll get we're accessing user dot profile image 90 which is the small version so user dot profile underscore image underscore 90 and then for the alt attribute in case the image fails to load then i just want to see i just want to show user dot name so let's save this and let, let's see what we have okay so look at this we have the profile images of each of the users and then uh right after the image i want to have an h2 that says user dot name so that it displays their name fantastic and you know what instead of an h2 what i want to happen is i want this to be list items so ul into li times two so this first one is going to show user dot name so remove this h2 okay and then this second one is going to show the date that this was published which we're getting from published timestamp okay so we're going to say published underscore timestamp like so so let's save this and we should see this on the screen okay now notice that we can't really read this date so we're going to install a package called date fns which is going to help us to solve this but for now let's just have it as it is and then because i just want to get all the data first before we begin studying everything out okay so once we get our image and the name of the person as well as the date what i want to do is i want to go outside of this article and i want to create another article and then inside this article i'm going to have an anchor tag this anchor tag is going to be linking to url and it's going to say the title of the blog post so save this and you should see that okay fantastic and then i want this to open on a new page so i'm going to set the target equals to underscore blank and then the rel for this is going to be no refara to prevent cross-site scripting like so okay and then below this we're going to have another article so we're going to have another article and this is going to say um actually what am i doing below this anchor tag we're going to have a paragraph that says description so a short description of the article of what the article is about and this we are getting it from where is it we're getting it from here so this is the description okay and then now inside this article what i want to happen is i want this to have a ul and then inside this ul these are going to be the tag lists so tag underscore list but remember that tag list is an array where is it tag list is an array of the tags okay right now you might ask why i'm not using this the reason why i'm not using this is let me show you if i can find the other ones the reason is because this tags is a string and it is not an array so i want this to be arrays so that we can represent them as different entities on the website so right inside tag list i'm going to say tag list dot map and then i'm going to say that for every tags for the single tags that i get back i also want to get back the index right and then i'm going to be rendering a list item with a key of index like so and then inside here we're going to render uh tags like so and then we're going to save this and then we should have this so these are the tags and remember that the tags have a hashtag in front of them so that we're going to have hash tag did you get it <laughs> okay so we're going to have this fantastic now the next thing that i want to do is i want to create another article below this so this article is going to have a ul and then this ul is going to have two list items and the first list item is going to be the the reactions and then the second list item is going to be the comments okay and we can get these from what was it what was it on the top positive reactions count and comments count right there and you know what i'm going to remove this because this is technically almost the same as this so we need the comments count and we need the positive reactions count okay so right here we need the positive underscore reactions count like so and a space and then here we have comments underscore count that space okay fantastic and then i've just realized that i forgot to get one more item which is the the read time so let me check where it is where is it where is it where is it so reading time minutes i need to get this as well so let's go ahead and destructure it right before the tag list here so i'm going to get reading underscore time underscore minutes like so 
and then i'm going to go below this ul plus a paragraph and i'm going to say reading underscore time minutes and then i'm going to add some text here so min read so the number of reading times the number of minutes it will take minutes to read okay so i'm going to save this and then let's see what happens on the screen and we have this so one minute read we have 93 reactions and 61 comments and so on and so forth okay so by the time we reach this stage then we realize we need two packages to be installed the first one being the date fns to format the date and the second one is going to be react icons which is going to help us to add a bit of icons for the reactions and as well as for the comments so let's go ahead and open up our terminal here we can add another terminal and i'm just going to say and i'm going to say npm install react icons and date underscore fns like so and then we can begin using them as they install so right at the top i'm going to import two icons from react icons so i'm going to import the first icon is called it's called ri hat three line this is coming from react icons forward slash ri and then the second icon is called bi comment coming from react icons forward slash bi okay now if you look at the react icons website there is a hat icon that resembles more that one of the dev.to website but i did not want to use it i preferred this one okay so let's go ahead and use these two icons so right here where we have our positive reactions count so before this we're going to add our component here called ri hat three line like so and then here before the comments count we are going to add bi comments like so and then we can check whether it's finished installing not yet so just give it a moment and then once they install then you can save this but this is going to result in an error because this doesn't exist where is it i want bi comment okay and we should have this hat icon and we have the comments icon fantastic okay so let's go ahead and format our date now so let's import the package or the method rather called format format from date dash fns like so and then we can go into our published date which is our published timestamp and then instead of returning this we're going to say format and then we're going to format new date and then part passing our published timestamp like so and then we're going to go after the uh, after this yellow bracket plus a comma and then we're going to format it in the form of uh month one two three four so month then day then year like so so that when we save this then we should see we should see come on come on we should see <laughs> the right not work okay there we go we should see this on the screen okay that's looking fantastic so if you want the day to appear first so all you have to do is just change this format so you can format in terms of the day the month and then the year okay so month is in capital then year is in small please note that and you can read more about it in the documentation so you can see right here fantastic